Okay, hi everyone and welcome to another live stream. I'm so happy and so honored to have one of Brazil's finest drummers, the amazing Cristiano Rocha. Cristiano, thank you for being here. Ciao, Rafael. Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me here. Uh, I have a cool story to tell before we start. It's like I saw this book when I was like, I don't know, it was many, many years ago. Uh, when I started, first started to uh, study drums in Brazil, I remember I bought it at the Free Note shop. And yes, when I opened in it Sao up Paulo. in Sao Paulo, and when I opened it up, I was like shocked. But like, how many rhythms there are in Brazil? How many variations there are? It's like so much. I was like, oh my God, it's too, this is too difficult for me. So I kept it and I said, okay, one day, I am sure I will I will know more about it. And years later, we met. And when we met, you say, "Yeah, I'm Cristiano. I wrote this book." So it was like, "Oh, everything is is turning to to uh to to the zero point." You know, everything now makes sense. Um, I'm so honored because uh, I saw you play, and we all agree that you really uh, dedicate your life to study drums and to reach a level that is, I mean, beyond impressive. But as I always said, what I like about your music is your style is that you know so much about rhythms and the importance of rhythms that you never um, you never play mathematically. I would say even if you can, you always play with with rhythm. With, with sorry, with with groove and with musically ideas because you know that's the heart. That's the heart, and because you know a lot about this. Okay. So um, let's start telling that uh, I, in Brazil, as far as I know, I mean, today really you are the teach, you are the master teacher. So if any any no, point no, I say, I'm not. I I'm say not. something, yeah, you are. So, so if I, any, any point I say something wrong, don't be afraid to tell me because to, as I said, I like to be to this live uh, streams are a way for me to learn. So if I do something, say something wrong, just don't worry. To say that I'm doing wrong. So, like now, I'm not a great master. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Everyone I spoke to, they say, okay, this is the guy, he knows a lot, you know. And this book shows actually a lot of, of rhythms from Brazil because um, usually people they know about uh, samba, who is the most famous uh, Brazilian rhythm. So, I would say we, we could start uh, talking about samba. Do you agree? So, let, imagine. I am a guy who never heard about samba uh, or, or just the name. What would you say to start understanding okay. the rhythm and the story of samba? Well, I, I'm not a historian, right? Uh, but I, I, I'm uh, very curious about everything, music, Brazilian music. First thing, Rafael, I'm not a, 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 I'm not a Brazilian musician specialist, right? I start to play drums because of this. Because of two guys. Yeah, Alex. Okay. <laughs> this is the album that changed my life. Alex Van Halen. Okay, I play drums because of Alex Van Halen and my dad, Roberto Rocha. Roberto Rocha. Ah, here's my father, okay? He ah, okay, okay. Drums with his friends, okay? But okay, uh, here in Brazil, I, I play a lot of styles, rock, pop, samba, 
Jazz. Okay. About samba, samba rhythm. In the beginning, in the beginning, like in the Afro-Caribbean music, uh, samba. Um, well, there's no drum. The drum set in samba. The the real samba. Okay. Okay. There is no drum set. Yes. We 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 we. we, we Put the, the drum set in samba later, okay? We have some uh, percussion instruments like surdo, pandeiro, reco reco, right? And we use this kind of thing there, not, not in this <laughs> electronic kit, but in the, the drum set. Let me, me uh, I'm going to, to uh, talk about some rhythmic ideas in samba. First of all, it's a 2-4 uh, rhythm, okay? It's important okay. to know the subdivision, the, the, the 16th notes. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, we, we can... Thinking for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But the feel it's in two four, like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. With an accent on two. Okay. Okay. It, it, it's important in samba. The dynamics, the field swing, of course, subdivision, like I said before, 16th notes. Uh, be aware of the, the dynamics. Sometimes I, I, I heard some drum, drummers playing samba like. Usually, we not play like this. We play sometimes, right? Okay. Uh, it, it's very important to listen to some references in samba. Okay, okay. the sub Did Sunday you... schools with uh, without drum set. Okay, but. Here, listen to the great samba drummers. I'm not a great samba drummer. Who is a great samba drummer? Who is a great? There's a, a lot of great players. But if you we, had to choose somebody, I mean, it, it, it's starting. It, it, it's starting with Milton Banana. Okay, Milton Banana. Don Romão. Don Romão. Don. And Edson Machado. Edson Machado. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, Don Roman. Okay. This is Don a Roman. great album from 1964. Okay. okay. Samba. This is Samba. Samba. There's a, a piece in, in 5 4 called Africa. Not totals Africa. Can 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 <laughs> can can no okay. another one. It, this is from 1964, right? Uh, okay. This track is in five four. A samba in five four. Don Juan. Okay. Great Don't album. Don't Before Humor. the famous Jackie Bow, another Brazilian rhythm. This is a LP, a rare LP. Jackie okay. Bau. Jackie Bau. It's a rhythm in 5 4. Right? Wait a second. Jackie Bau is a rhythm before samba? What, what after is... samba. Uh, after samba, Jackie Bau. Yes. Uh, uh, after this, this, the, the, this album. For okay, okay, okay. From 1964. Okay. 
Uh, I think the, 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 this, 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 this track, Africa from the Un Roman, inspired the Jeki Bau's rhythm. Wow. This is like a, a, a samba in 5 4 with a hi hat in two. Wait, wait, wait. Two, so, three, Jeki four, Bau, so, Jeki Bau is a samba in 5 4? Samba bossa in 5 4. Okay, 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 over the five four. Ah, okay, so the, the head keeps going. Okay, okay. Probably it... inspired by this track Africa from the Un Roman. Okay, cool. Right? I, yeah. I'm talking about three great drummers. There, there's a lot more. The Un yeah, Roman, but I, I, no, Edson that's... Machado, and, and Milton Banana. Okay, please. Uh, what it's about? It's very uh, important to hear, to listen to these these drummers, right? What record from Milton Banana is uh, is the best in your opinion? Uh, this is so important. I, I'm writing down everything. So th there's the a lot you guys can find on Spotify. Okay, some albums. Some uh, people are Milton. asking already. Some people are asking already. Wait a second. Sorry, uh, where they can buy the record, the book Batera Brasileira, and you can buy the book on Hudson Music. Definitely yes. worth it. But we'll get to it later. Sorry. Uh, keep going. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. The, this link, yes, from you can find uh, that Hudson Music's website, right? Actually, I have three books. Bateria Brasileira, which means Brazilian drumming, play, and play two. Play two. I had the chance to learn a song from play. Very cool. You can you can find the, the ebook version on uh, Hudson Music's website. Two books, Bateria Brasileira and play. Okay. So let's get back to Milton Banana. What record? Okay, there's a lot of records. Okay, a lot of records. Sambas de Bossa. Uh, this one, Milton Banana Trio. There's a lot of, of uh, a lot of albums. Have the, the title okay. Milton Banana Trio. He, okay. He, he recorded a lot of albums, right? Oh, okay. Uh, and what about Edson and, Machado? And what about Edson? Uh, oh, sorry. Just one, one, one more album. This from a, a group called Os Cobras. Os Cobras. With a, a musician I, I played with a long time ago called Paulo Moura. Okay, a musician, great arranger. This is a, a, a great album. OLP from the group Os Cobras. With Os Cobras. Milton Banana, right? Okay. Os Cobras. Uh, what's the name of the record? Yes. O L P. D O B. Ah, o o L P. Yes. Ah, tá bom. Então o é, é O L P dos co é O L P dos co Ah, tá. Legal. So the the okay. the L P the L P is called D L P in Portuguese. <laughs> I like. Yes. So yeah. Yes. So. Okay, um, I have a question. What about Edson Machado? What about the record from Edson? I'm writing down everything. It will be in the description of the video so people can, can check it out. What about the record yes. from Edson? There, there, there's an album called uh, Samba Novo. Samba Novo. From Edson Machado. Some, some student of mine take... Uh, uh, take it my 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 CD, okay? Let me see. Edson Edson Machado. 
Edison Machado. Tá bom. So, as we can see, we, there is a lot... One second, please. Okay. okay. Uh, you can find on uh, Spotify. Edson Machado é samba novo. Samba novo. É samba ah, novo. é samba novo. Ok, yes. legal. Yes. So, we, we are, are saying... Talk, we are talking... Uh, uh, in, in, in the great guys playing on the late yes. 50s and uh, 60s. Uh, Bossa Nova, Samba Jazz, okay? I have a question when it comes so we, um, about Samba, because usually we, uh, as Europeans, uh, we think that the, the rhythm of Samba is very similar to the rhythm of Bossa Nova, right? But what because i heard like some records are samba bossa you, you, what's the real difference i know that when it comes to the other instruments the the chords and the melodies are different but what's the difference when it comes to the rhythm okay uh, I, I, actually the, the rhythm is almost the same right the base of the bossa rhythm is the samba right okay. maybe with other dynamics other elements so let's um, say uh, uh, will... other tempos okay okay so let me ask you a question as i said so usually bossa nova should be like slower and played softer am i right or not yes but we have a, a samba called uh, samba canção with is in a slow tempo and usually softer okay okay but some, some people think in bossa nova like check 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 it's not only this okay it's not only pattern Okay, because I remember Milton Banana has a lot. From, we can use and use actually elements from samba. Okay. So it can be more it, complex. Because usually we no. think bossa nova is pretty. I, I, I don't. Sometimes we use uh, uh, brushes in bossa. Okay. It's a very common thing. Okay, playing with brushes. But it's not bossa. Is this samba? Is that okay? Okay, so we can say they cross sometimes, the, they, they, they cross the patterns. They... Yes, but... of course. We have to be aware of the uh, acoustic guitar rhythm, right? This kind of thing. But in a real world, we don't think in, in classes. Okay, this is interesting. Okay. This is very interesting because some people in Europe we think that everything is a clave. <laughs> so when it comes no, to no, no, uh, we 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 can and we must do some uh, variations on, on snare, for example. Particular, particularly, I, I never play at a bossa nova like check 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 all the track. Okay. I, I, I can. A, a great tip. Listen to Paulo Braga. Paulo Braga. Being, yes. Uh, a great friend of mine. Paulo Braga. He played with Tom Jobim. Okay. He played with. He, he played with uh, a, a lot of people. Sting. Eliane Elias, Tim Maia, Djavan, 
Ivan Lins. Uau, wow, ok. Enisa. Uau. Wow. Listen to this record, please. Wait, wait. What's the name of this record? Elis Regina, let me... I can't see. Put it more on, on your... Uh, on your uh, yes. Elis Regina, Montreux Jets Festival. Yes. With Paulo And... Braga, Chico Batera, okay, uh, what... Mariano, Luizão Maia, great bass player, uh, uh, great reference in bass player in Brazil. Okay. Paulo Braga. Paulo Braga. Paulo Braga. What about this record from... from Tom Jobim as well? Okay. Okay. Tom, Tom Jobim. Jobim. Great my mother. Reference, man. Okay. My mother used to tell me a lot about Tom Jobim. She spoke so much about Tom Jobim that I never heard it really because she was so much Tom Jobim. Now after. Many years I will go back and listen to it. I have a question about the record from Elise Regina, Montreux Jacks Festival. Is it Bossa Nova? What's the style of that record? How can we call it? Samba, uh, Northeast uh, Rhythms. Okay. okay. It, it, it's, it's great, great, great record. Okay. Live, live record. Live recording. So, okay, okay. Yes. So, um, So for the people who are listening to us, we, we said the bossa nova and samba, the rhythm are, are, is similar, but usually we play bossa nova uh, slower and softer, usually. But also we say that sometimes samba canção is also... Yes, usually, okay? There, there are some patterns we play on snare's rim that we play more in bossa nova. Ah, okay. okay. That's why it's very important to listen to the, listen to the music, right? Uh, we have great books, okay, but the most important thing is to listen to and play. Play along with uh, albums, play with real people, of course, right? And, and, and don't think mathematically. Okay, okay. two, four, sixteen notes, accent on two. Okay, we have a lot of nuances, a lot of dynamics, accents, right? I have a question when it comes to, you said, not thinking mathematically what about the brazilian feel because everybody is trying to explain this but it's very uh kind of hard maybe for us european to understand since especially today everything is quantized the tuku, 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 tuku. how would you explain to a student how to get into this wave okay L like in samba okay We, we can think, like I said before, two, four, 16 notes, and with this kind of accents. It, it's all 16, 16 notes. There's no uh, secrets, hmm. just accents based okay. on 16th, 16th notes. Semi okay, Semi right? Because usually, I, I, I'm not I, I'm sorry, I, I'm not playing a kind of triplet. I'm playing just sixteenth notes, sixteenth notes. Okay, right. This is interesting because there is so much rumors about it. Oh, they don't play straight. It's a, it's it's between sixteen and triplet, and I see everyone has his own uh, opinion about it and, and his own vision. And you say even to a student, play straight. 
use the right accent and maybe you said right it comes from listening to the music understanding the the, the, the waves right yes and try to not play the the bass drum too hard too loud okay okay <laughs> okay <laughs> To me, this, this was very hard. Yeah, I know, because uh, every time I, I go back and I, I and I learn new rhythms, or I even I start you know, to recheck my old a uh, little bit of samba, I found it's very hard for me since I always practice to play as loud as I can. But I found it very interesting to understand so new a new way of playing for me. So I'm always fascinated. Okay. You also play the ride very fast, and so with a very low volume. Right. This is something. Me? In, no, no. Yes, you and every everyone who plays samba in Brazil. No, and no, no. My, my, my no? right hand sucks, man. <laughs> Listen to, to Celso de Almeida. It's the Celso guy. Almeida. It's you know the guy. what I like? What I, what I like about Brazilian musicians is that they are so humble, and they are basically the opposite of the Italian ones. Because when you speak no, to them. Uh, yeah, it's true, it's true, because uh, this is a, a cultural thing. In Brazil, you have so much respect for your history and for your culture that you are always very down to hurt because you know there's always somebody coming from somewhere that knows a lot about the topics. So everybody's very humble. And this is something I learned in Brazil, because the more you know, the more you know that you don't know enough. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, there's a cool, I, a cool comment. I see I, I, I see a lot of guys like Cuca Teixeira. A very good drummer, uh, yeah. Ca Carlos, Carlos Bala, uh, Maguinho, Kiko Freitas, uh, Ramon Montanher, a lot of guys. Celso de Almeida, oh, yeah. Edu Ribeiro. There's a lot of great guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I consider myself uh, a, a rock and roll drummer <laughs> with uh, a lot of uh, curiosity okay that's, that's important that's important to understand I, it usually I, i'm not an ex, uh, i'm not a, 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 a an expert in nothing rafael in nothing <laughs> okay. we, we always say this he's so humble i mean maybe you if you are if you are not an expert in nothing why hudson music should release a book by you <laughs> so it means that you know your stuff Curiosity, man. Curiosity. <laughs> Curiosity. Curiosity. There is a guy, Andre, wrote, uh, listen to drummers like uh, Edson Machado, Rubio Barsocci, Celso de Almeida, Paulo Braga, Theo Lima, Carlos Bala, Pascual Merilis, Oscar Boulon, uh, Boulon e Juri Moreira. Don't think there's a lot of drummers. But let's get yes. back to, the, to our topic that was Bateria Brasileira. So... Uh, we sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Let, let me talk a little about those guys, okay? Yes. Uh, uh, well, Carlos Bala, it's a great, great drummer that influenced me a lot. He lives six blocks away from here, right? Carlos Bala. That, he played in a lot of uh, uh, albums like this from Jav Javan, Coisa de Ascender. Javan. Great album. Carlos Bala is great uh, person, with musician, drummer. The guy, André, right? Talk about Pascual Meirelles. Uh, I had one lesson with Pascual, and I did an interview with him. Last week, there's on my uh, YouTube channel uh, an okay. interview I did with Pascual. I talked to Tel Lima, other friend of mine, two weeks ago. It's a great drummer. He plays. He played in a lot of albums like this one, Batacoto. Great album. He plays in a, a lot of albums from Ivan Lins. I, I played with Ivan as well. Wow. I was okay. honored to, to play with Ivan Lins. Uh, let me see uh, that list. 
Ok. Celso de Almeida. É, Rubinho Parsotti from Zimbo Trio. I, I miss him so much. Rubinho. We used to uh, have some lunch together. I, I love, love Rubinho Barsotti. Paulo Braga, Théo Lima, Carlos Bala, Pascoal Meirelles, Oscar Bolão. Oscar Bolão have a great, great book. I forgot the name, man. I have trouble with dates, names, okay? <laughs> Oscar Bolão. So, you know, Oscar Bolão has a great book. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. He, he, he wrote a, a great book. Juri Moreira, another great drummer. The drummer. Uh, he played uh, with a lot of bands like Banda Z, Banda Zil. He played with Edu Lobo. It, it, it's a great, great drummer, Juri Moreira. A studio drummer as well. Okay. okay. Uh, great list from André. Great yeah. list. André Ara so, André, uh, thank you for the list. It was a great list. So, let's get back to the Brazilian rhythms, Bateria Brasileira. Um, we, we say samba and bossa nova are the most famous but you know a lot of them and to the guys checking the video there's a, a, a great youtube video from cristiano where he's playing more than 100 brazilian rhythms i was like what the fuck? 105 rhythms so uh, let's go to some of those rhythms and try to to give a, a an understanding uh we i spoke recently recently with the metrus locks and he told me about Maracatu, who is a rhythm from okay. Pernambuco. From, and from I wanted Pernambuco, to... Pernambuco, Pernambuco. Is great, yes. What are, what are the other rhythms from that area? Can you name a few to us? From Pernambuco? From the, and Pernambuco is from the north, right? Northeast. Well, uh, uh, northeast. Uh, actually, uh, actually uh, Brazil, uh, it's a, like you know, it's a, a big, it, it, it's a continental country, right? I think it's the fifth uh, largest country in the world. Wow. With 26, 27 states. Uh, for example, in Pernambuco states, we have a lot of rhythms. Frevo, Maracatu, Maracatu de Baque Virado, okay? Uh, well, a, a, a lot of a lot of rhythms. There's a lot of kinds of maracatu. There's uh, maracatu do Ceará. Nice. I was talking uh, 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 with uh, another friend of mine, Camilo Mariano, other great drummer. He played with uh, uh, an artist called Ednardo. Ednardo, Ednardo uh, recorded a. Uh, 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 a track called Pavão Misterioso. It's a, a great example of Maracatu do, C, do Ceará. Right? So this is Maracatu in, in from Ceará. Okay. Sorry? This is Maracatu from Ceará? What's the name? Yes, yes. A kind of, another kind of Maracatu. But in Pernambuco, we have Maracatu de Baque Solto. Maracatu de Baque Virado, okay? There, there, there's a lot wow, of, I mean, a no, lot you of know, kinds of Maracatu. Let me, let me tell you uh, something, Bacis. Cristiano. Let me tell you something. Uh, recently, I found out that learning about this rhythm, it will really make me, make, makes me want to know about drums. You know, because recently, with all this information going around, you know, quintuplets, sextuplets, and blah, 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 in linear, I was so bored. Every time I, I I look at a rhythm for a rhythm from a culture, I, I, I'm like, oh, I, I want to learn this. So I found myself actually going back to, okay, I want to know about this because it has a history. Recent when drums are about uh, mathematic numbers, uh, I kind of make me bored. But when I hear these stories like Pernambuco and they have this uh, this rhythm, I'm, I get psyched. Okay, I want to know about it. So it makes me actually love drums more and more because I like the way they sound. You know, I like how, how yes. they, they have a, a yes. reason to be like yes. that. So, and and, and, and we, we, we can uh, uh, mix with other things, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like the musicality of them. I think they are amazing. Uh, 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 if you take a, a rock or funk groove or a metal groove uh, and put rhythmic, rhythmic elements uh, of maracatu, for example, uh, it will probably result in a, a very interesting thing, right? Every time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, they like are every time. Every time, as I said, Chico Maracatu. Every time I see Demetrius uh, playing with all the crazy double bass, it really makes me say, "Oh, that's so interesting." You know, I I, I think this a uh, a very uh, interesting way actually to go back to the roots and really take what the you know because those rhythms they have a soul. And they have a yes, meaning. Yes, and yes. This is yes. why we get so uh, emotionally connected every time I hear them. So please, let's talk again. Let's keep going with the list. We said Frevo, Maracatu, from in, in many different versions, as you said. Yes, and, and, and I, uh, uh, th there's a lot of. We have, I think, 27 states, right? Let's take Pernambuco. <laughs> right? <laughs> The, the there's a, a lot of great drummers from Pernambuco. Adelson Silva, Adelson Silva and Augusto Silva. Okay. Uh, Ebel Perrelli, the late Maurício Chiapeta, Cássio Cunha, who plays with El Valencio. Uh, Alceu Valença, sorry. There, there's a lot of great, great, great drummers all around Brazil, okay? In, in all the states, man. No, not just in, in Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. Wow. There's a, okay. a lot, a lot of great players. Great, great players, but much better than, than, than me, man, okay? <laughs> I remember, okay. I, I'm, not, let, let I'm just... not, Rafael, I'm not even, even the, the, the best drummer in my neighborhood. <laughs> okay, that's 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 lives in near here, man. <laughs> I like so much, but this is what I learned from Brazil. You know, everybody is such in a good mood. But you, as I said, just just for the people who are knowing us, you are, are also a very famous teacher, and you had some students that became very famous. I always say that, even if you don't like to say that, people should check out. You have a list of students that are very high level in Brazil. So this shows. I prefer not. No, no. I don't know. You are very humble. So I will just write down in the comments. Don't worry. So let's keep going with the, with the rhythms don't from Don't do North that, East. man. Don't do that. No. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So we said. I, um, I love all of them, okay? okay? Oh, I know. I know. I don't know. We were talking about Frevo. What about Frevo? What should you, how does it sound? That, how does it sound, Frevo? The, the, fre, the, the Frevo I wrote here is not right, man. Okay, for example. <laughs> I, I why, why, the, why? The, the, the bass drum on one and two, usually we, we play the, the Frevo with, with uh, uh, bass, drum, bass drum just on two. Ah. Usually we play the hi hat on this. Great tip for Frevo. Listen to Spock Frevo Orchestra. Spock Frevo. There's two great how drums. How is it written? How is it written? You can write it on the chat here. I will. I will put. Just write on the. O C K. Okay. Spock Let me see Frevo. here. Spock Frevo. Spock Frevo. Okay. There's, okay. okay. Uh, there, there's two drummers, Adelson Silva <laughs> and Augusto Silva. Okay. Okay. Here, Spock Frevo Orchestra. Okay, and right. they play Frevo. Yes, okay. and there's a, a great, great DVD 
I have the DVDs, it's fantastic. Okay? Spock Frevo. Okay. There's Forget a guy as well. Frevo here. Okay. <laughs> I wish I so there is this guy uh, writing us so Frevo Bayon Foho Shochi e Peji Serra. Uh, I never heard Peggy Serra before. Yes, I, I played with a, a band. What yeah. is it? What kind what of rhythm is Peggy Serra? I, I, I wrote a book, but sometimes I, I have prob a, a, tr a problem with names. Because there's so like, many rhythms. I, I played, it, uh, I think, two years ago in a band, a famous band in Brazil, uh, Fala Mansa. Okay, who plays uh, Pedi Serra? Okay, Pedi Serra. Uh, sometimes, how does sometimes it, how we, does... we call for her, which uh, 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 means the uh, uh, Bayão, Shot, Chachado. Okay, it's a lot. I mean, there are so many rhythms, right. it's very hard. So Yes, I, have one... uh, I, I did. I, I did one concert with uh, with Falamansa. Uh, usually, uh, subbing uh, Ramon Montagnier, a, a great drummer, a great friend of mine. You know, Ramon, right? Uh, let, let me talk, talk uh, about some strange thing. Uh, I think uh, 20, 25 years ago, I, I played with a, a great artist, great composer called Dominguinhos. I, I, I played with Dominguinhos. But in that time, uh, it's like, uh, okay, Dominguinhos. Okay, great. But I, I was, that time I was more in fusion. Fusion, jazz rock, okay? Uh, years later, uh, years later, uh, uh, I realized that uh, who, who was Dominguinhos, right? Okay. My, my interest in Brazilian music came uh, later, after oh. I studied at Drummer's Collective in 1996. Okay. okay. Uh, in 1997, I played on a, a Brazilian uh, album uh, along with uh, John Patitucci, the, the, the American bass player, playing wow. a samba in 7 8. After that, I played Brazilian music with other artists, Ivan Lins. Uh, oh, I mean, uh, honestly, your, your your curriculum is so fucking amazing. <laughs> I, I, I mean, all the, these are very high level uh, artists in Brazil. So everybody really, uh, Cristiano is so humble that sometimes uh, I, you forget who he is, but the names he played with. I mean, you don't play with these guys if, if you can't play very well. So this is important for the guys checking out the book Bateria Brasilia by Cristiano Rocha, who played with some of the biggest Brazilian names. That's so important to be said. And now I have a question for you. Um, in Brazil, so is it possible to know all these at the same time? Or sometimes when you have to, to go to a, you know, to a new gig, you have to learn some new rhythm or, or some new, even if you know a lot of them. I mean, the rhythms are still yes, changing. Of course, of course. There, there's a, a, a lot of rhythms I, I don't know. Wow. This a is lot interesting. Of them. Yes, yes. This is so cool. Right. Because, for example, in Italy, we don't have the tradition for rhythms. We have the tradition for some cultural music, yes. But when it comes to drums, the tradition are very pop oriented so basically it's about playing as tight as you can they we have some of the best ones in the world yes but, there's great uh, italian musicians playing pop but great. we don't have a 
but we don't have that history when it comes to rhythms. We, we don't have like a rhythm from Cagliari, for example, where I live. There is not a rhythm from Milano. Uh, I never was. I, I saw Stuart Copeland playing with uh, a lot of Italian guys playing Taranta. Ah, okay. And here in Brazil, I, I played a lot of Tarantella in Italian parties. Ta Maybe Tarantella is more famous outside Italy. <laughs> How do you play the Tarantella rhythm? What, what's like a. Okay, okay. You see, that's the main difference. I'm not Italian, man. Sorry. Don't no worry, even many Italian drummers doesn't know how to play Tarantella. If I ask to my friends, they are all drummers, we have no idea how to play it. So maybe it's also a difference on how Brazil treats his own uh, cultural background, probably. You keep your history going. I mean, that's, that's, that's the difference, I guess. Because, for example, okay. it's not a book about Italian rhythms. They okay. never heard of But, but there's a, a, a lot of great, great, great Italian players. Playing yeah, that, that's jazz, for sure. Playing metal like you. I yeah. saw you playing uh, your stuff, man. I learned, and, uh, in, I learned in Brazil. I, 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 was, I was thinking, man, it's a octopus playing. What an, what an honor. But, but it, thank you man, very much. Too fast. But when I, too fast. But when I started, so you know, but when I started playing I, this music. I, I cannot hold the, the half bar of that, man. <laughs> But so thank you for. But when I started, for example, this is cool. When I started liking this music in Italy, everybody was like, "Oh no, 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 just stop it!" But the Brazilian teachers, they were like, "Follow what you like." They were this another mentality. They were like, when I started playing this music in 1995 in Italy, they were like, "Oh my God, please stop doing it." Instead, the Brazilian teachers were like, "Keep going, uh, just you know." So I find out your mentality is very different. You, you always try to bring new stuff and you are not afraid of contaminations. I found that you are... No, no, no. Uh, 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 some people here in Brazil think I'm a, a rock drummer because I played with Andreas Kisser, uh, Andrea Marcos, no, I mean, you play that song with Andreas Kisser. Eduard Anui, punk bands, like a guy here in Sao Paulo called Clement. I played with Clement. It's a punk guy, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do it. Okay. Let's play. I, li I like. Uh, okay. To be honest, uh, play what uh, what you 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 need. You like to play. The fact that you were a, a Brazilian drummer. Uh, well. You can play whatever you like, man. I'm not a, 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 a green guy, a white guy, uh, unfortunately, right? Uh, uh, from Brazil. Uh, I, I'm not Tony Williams, but but I like to play jazz too. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I never, really? uh, I, can, I can't play like. Uh, 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 Afro-American drummer like Jeff Watts or Tony or Max, but okay, I can play jazz, right? And if I, I, I don't like to play Brazilian music, fuck it, okay. <laughs> Right? Yeah, this is so cool. So yeah, absolutely. I, I don't agree. This is one of the things I learned most in Brazil. Let's get back to the rhythms and. What are instead, uh, do we have rhythms from the south of Brazil besides Bossa Nova? What do we have? Yes, yes. Uh, Chacarera. Chacarera. Uh, yes. Uh, there, there are some rhythms we, with some Argentinian influence. Wow. Okay. For example, on south. Rio Grande do Sul. The, uh, by the way, there's a, a lot of great players in Rio Grande do Sul, right? Uh, Montenegro's family, Kiko Freitas, and so on, right? Ayrton Moreira from, from, Ayrton is from Paraná States, 
okay. but a nice page, I think. But, but, the, but like I said before, we have a, a lot of great drummers all around the, the, the country, right? Let me see. Let me see. I think boring this book, man. Sorry. <laughs> I, I think a, not. Of, Actually, uh, your uh, book is the, your book is what uh, is one thing you could practice again drums. So your book is making me sit down. I said, okay, fuck it. I will go through. I will try to go page by page, and one day I will maybe finish it. Uh, I so prefer this, this two. Okay, they are more yeah. To play yeah, along, um, but in order to play them uh, right. Okay. I, I tried it. The, the... I was telling in order to play, you need to know the rhythms because I, I would I can I am able to play the songs from play, the ones who are more rock, but I really struggle to play the others. I need to, to have more vocabulary and more freedom. So the, I would go through this one, maybe using both. Like for example, you have a bossa nova song from play, and then you okay, I study bossa nova here and I go back to the book. Maybe this can be an easier way to do okay, that. Okay, okay. And, and you can not stood that of this, nothing of this shit and play with some records, right? <laughs> which, which is great. <laughs> which yeah, is great. yeah. But as I said, um, I'm, I'm really getting into uh, knowing more about those rhythms. It's like I, I feel something is calling me to that side. You know, Brazil okay. is like, okay, now you have to know uh, more. Uh, about some uh, rhythms from south, okay? We have uh, Bugio, uh, Chacarera, Chamamé, Chamamé, Chamarita, Chula. Wow. Uh, there's, I, I remember the, the, the other great drummer from, from Porto Alegre, Rio Grande do Sul, uh, Cesar Aldi, okay? Uh, let me see. Uh, Guarania. Actually, Guarania is from Paraguay. But okay, no problem. We stole it. Uh, Milonga. From wow. South Milonga. Okay. This is the rhythm. So Wait yeah. a second. Uh, Milonga. I mean, Milonga. I never heard about Milonga. Let me check it out. Uh, Rhythmically, 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 rhythmically speaking, it's like a toada. To, to, pa, to, pa, to, what do you call this one? Pa, toada. How do you... Toada is like a, a, a slow bayon. Bayon, okay. Toada. Right. Toada is is slower. Okay. Listen and to even Dominguinhos. Me... Listen to Domin... Dominguinhos. Beautiful okay. Toadas. <laughs> okay, Dominguinhos. Wow. I mean, every time I see this, I'm like, oh shit. There's so many names I never heard. So please, sorry, keep going with the names from the south. The names of the rhythms from the south. Ah, uh, oh man. Guys, there's so Vanerão. many. Vanerão. So many rhythms Vanerão. on this book. Vanerão. Vanerão, let's see. We, we, we play in Brazil a lot of Vanerão in, in, in uh, all kinds of recordings. Vanerão. Vanerão. Okay. It's, it, this is just a guide, right? It's not a, it's this. But I don't know. It's like this. You cannot play like that. Man. Okay. It sounds <laughs> good. Okay. Right? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like, yeah. If fuck, it sounds, that, that's the best the way rules, to... Fuck the rules, man. <laughs> fuck the rules. Ah, in rock, we must play the snare on two and four. And then a guy like Ginger Baker play on one and three. 
and made history, man. Right? There's a cool comment from uh, Andrea Araujo who says, in Brazil, uh, in Brazil, the music is a big, uh, it's a big uh, pantalon. Uh, how can I say? Well, it's a it's a big mixture of ideas. So the good yes. ideas are, are always welcome without prejudice. And when you have an open mind and you put the music in first place, everybody wins. That's cool. Yes, of course. Uh, this is uh, my friend Andrea Araujo. Uh, Andrea Araujo is it's a, a, a great friend, a drummer, uh, percussionist. He lives near Trieste. It's a great guy. Ciao, ah, Andrea. Okay. Ciao, okay. Martino. Ciao, Andrea. Andrea Araujo, okay. Hello. And his uncle uh, is a, a great musician. Mingo Araujo. He plays percussion. Played with. Uh, he plays on, on this great band, Cama de Gato. Mingo is not here, but he plays with Cama de Gato. Okay. Played with a lot of people. Uh, I saw him playing with Stevie Gadd, with. Uh, uh, Whoa! Uh, Paul Simon. Paul Simon. Congratulations. With, I will check with this three uh, Brazilian percussionists, Don Chacal. Mingo and ah, well, we see the yeah. yeah. Uh, if Andre, if yeah, that's Andre can write to me and I will post on the comments of the video. So I'm checking in the book. Sorry, 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 yeah. Rafael. There's the, uh, I remember one thing. There's a, a great, great drummer. He plays percussion as well, living in Italy, and. He wrote a great, great, great book. It's my friend Igor Saunier. This book. Tambores, Tambores da, Amazon. da Amazonia. Wow. Great is that a drum guy, book? Great musician. Is a, is a drum book? Yes, drum set. And, and with uh, percussion elements. Right? Okay, cool. Tambores great. da Amazonia. I will check He's it. Living in Italy. So I'm he checking the a famous band, I think. I will check them. I will put on the on the link. Jane so I, I'm checking here and I am impressed by okay, because I saw the, the, the place where the rhythms come from. For example, Sudest, we have the Congo or Congo. What's the name of man? I, I have no idea. I have no idea, man. <laughs> There's so many. Two, 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 two. Ah, two, 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 two. Yeah, two. Lauro Lelis. Lauro Lelis, yeah. another great author and educator. Lauro Lelis. Ah, okay. You know the cool thing about these rhythms is when I hear them, sometimes I connect with sounds from my childhood. So that's why I, yeah. I like to. Yeah, because when I went to, when I was going to Brazil when I was a kid, my grandparents would, would take me to parties and to uh, you know to uh, places where this music was going. So sometimes I'm like, oh, I heard this maybe there, and and I like to you know to to to, to look for those because this Congo and, and your mother and your mother, uh, great person. My mom knows a lot. Uh, uh, your your mother is to be a singer, right? Yes, my mother was a singer, and but yeah. we, as usually as a son of a singer, I didn't listen to her music until I was I, I grow old. That's why I play okay. metal because okay. all my family like were into me, yeah. Everybody was into normal like music. So. <laughs> so in the beginning, uh, I I I I I played uh, just. Van Halen, White Snake, Scorpions, Quack wow, Lions. <laughs> great, great bands. So, okay. So since we are already one hour of live, we are going to the end of, of the live. And I want to talk again about this book. Who's going to stay in the, in the in the comment section. And okay. uh, you said, you told me, let's talk about, let's make some information about this book. It took you six years to write it. Yes, Am I six right? years. Yes. Wow. Yes. Can you tell me a bit how? Uh, what uh, about? My it? CD 
took uh, 10 years. <laughs> okay. Uh, can we find your CD online? Yes. Where? Uh, on Spotify. Ah, okay. I will, I will put the link. Right? Okay. Uh, so let the, the album let's... is called the Hitchimismo. Hitchimismo. Okay. So let's go back to the history of this book, of Bateria Brasileira. How was it? How, how did it start? With my curiosity. Okay. Uh, I, I played with some uh, artists who traveled a lot in, here in Brazil. Uh, Peninha, Melinha, right? Uh, and for example, I, I was playing in Ceará before or after our concert. Usually, uh, I, 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 some some bands playing, and I wrote it down some rhythms. And wow. we, when it it, it it possible after the show, I. I Ask it the, the drummer, man, the, what is this? Uh, how can I play? Uh, how can I, what kind of artists can, I can listen to, to play this, this properly? This kind of thing, right? Wow, it's so cool. So you had, basically you were asking, you were asking to the people who were playing those rhythms. That's so cool. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think the, the, the best teacher is curiosity, right? And our ears, of course. This is so cool. I mean, so you started basically writing down after the shows the, the stuff you would hear from the drummers and asking questions. Yes. And then yes. this, wow. I mean, this this should be like the introduction of the book. This is so uh, cool. Uh, some some material uh, I was using in my classes with my students, right? A lot of okay. papers, papers, papers. Someday I, I think, well, maybe I can try to write a book. I'm not a, 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 an expert. But I can try to write it down some ideas, right? Yes. Six and you can become an expert. Yeah. Basically, you became an expert just writing all down those rhythms from people. This is so cool. I mean, this history is so cool because I wanted to ask you, how would you find those rhythms? And you just answered me. So you were playing in a venue somewhere and some guy would play those rhythms and you would be, okay, what is this? Wow. <laughs> Another thing, I, I bought a, a lot of CDs, man. I was playing in Porto Alegre, or near Porto Alegre. Uh, I was uh, in a shopping mall, for example. I saw a, a CD from ah, Os Serranos. Okay, let, let me see. Os Serranos to listen to their music. Wow. Right? Okay, For this is so, I mean, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. this is how, actually, yeah. this is cool because you just show people how you become an expert to something. You just, uh, uh, you just uh, type uh, me curious. <laughs> well, this, I, I would say This fucking book, this fucking book is not perfect, man, right? Yeah, like, like not nothing perfect. is. Yeah, but music is but, not perfect. Uh, uh, it's very close. Was yeah, I know the, the thing. The best I, I can. I can could, do yeah, yeah. In that style. That's a, that's a, that's a great I, uh, thing because um, many people, even when I, I know a lot about rock and punk music, but me too, I'm not me an, too. But when I talk with my the singer from my band, he knows so much about some styles of punk that I'm like, okay, I know shit about it because there is so much, yes. you know, so much. And it's, it's almost impossible to really be an expert of something because it keeps going and there are always news. But um, you, as we said, this book is amazing. It has a lot of ideas and it's really uh, uh, 
a deep uh, there's some deep information about Brazilian music and what I want to say is like we finished this interview first of all thank you for your time I will put all your contacts on the uh, on YouTube, and it's important. Cristiano is teaching online, so if anybody uh, want to know more about, of course, he's a soul rock guy. But usually, from us from Europe, if you want to know some Brazilian stuff and really go deep with somebody who knows a lot about Brazilian music and groups, make sure to contact Cristiano. Uh, definitely, I appreciate um, one of the few things, one of the few good things about this pandemic is that now we have the chance to study with people who is very far away. This is what I told you already. Since, you know, Thomas Lang is teaching and other people you are teaching from all over the world, now more than before, information can be uh, bought and can be, you know, can be, can, can arrive everywhere. So yes, thank you, Christian, a lot. And as I said, I will post the links. Thank you for this. Thank you for all, all you'll be doing. You do uh, Brazilian Rhythmismo is with a drum camp in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I've been there, it's a great place. I know you work you, a lot. You played art. a lot, man. You I played play there, I played there. It was a great, a great thing and it's an honor. So once again, Cristiano, thank you so much for being here. And as I said, I hope to see you soon. Thank you, Rafael, for having me. It was an honor, uh, a pleasure. And I'd like to, to, to say hello to all you guys from Bateras Beach, okay? They are all you, here. of course, yeah. uh, uh, Elena, Efidio, Deb, uh, Andrea, Fabrizio, Group of Men, uh, <laughs> Alex, Mr. Robina. Mr. Robina, he's in English. As well. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Grazie and I hope. Mille. Muito obrigado, Rafael. Muito obrigado. We, I expect to see you very soon, my friend. Thank you very much, okay. and thank you to everybody. Don't wait. Don't forget to purchase Bateria Brasileira, amazing book, and keep in touch with Cristiano Rocha. Abraço, todo mundo.